Have you heard of intermittent fasting? It's not just a weight loss trend. There are big health benefits that come from time restricted eating. In fact, a new Salk study focuses on who could benefit the most. Professor Sachin Panda joins us this morning to talk about it all. Good morning, Professor Sachin. Good morning. So welcome to the show. I, I want to start off by saying that I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting. I do the 16, 8, 1, fast for 16 hours, eat for eight. I have lost weight doing this, but this is more than just that, right? So before we get into the health benefits, let's first talk about intermittent fasting. What's the difference between IF, time-restricted eating, all that stuff to uh, get our viewers up to date on what this all means? Well, the concept of uh, intermittent fasting actually started in my lab 10 years ago uh, with this idea that if you eat for eight hours and fast for 16 hours in mouse studies, you get a huge amount of health benefits. And that became popular as intermittent fasting, eight hours eating, 16 hours fasting. Um, but in most of our studies, we have tested eight hours, nine, 10, 11, and we find anywhere from eight to 10 hours of eating and then the rest fasting uh, has similar health benefits. We don't use the word fasting because there are a lot of people out there who do not like the word fasting and they don't want to fast. But if we tell them, if you, you can eat whatever you want within 10 hours, then they're happy with it. You know what, you're absolutely right because the first time I heard about intermittent fasting, my husband told me about it. He's like, oh my gosh, you have to try it, it's great. And I said, fasting? I'm not fasting every single day. <laughs> and so it was really hard at first. Um, so where do you suggest that people start if they're looking uh, to lose some weight? Let's talk about the weight loss first because for me, it was very hard uh, to go 16 hours, but this includes sleep time. Yeah, so um, let me uh, give you a context of why we do this and what is the, why we come from. Um, and so at the Salk Institute, our mission is to enable everyone to live at their peak physical, intellectual, and emotional performance for their entire life. But we have a national health crisis because two out of three adults have at least one or more chronic condition that can be excessive weight or obesity, pre-diabetes, diabetes, high blood sugar, high blood cholesterol, liver disease, kidney disease, gut disease, and everything. And coping with these chronic diseases can be a huge emotional and financial burden because the money we spend on treating chronic condition can be easily spent for rent, education, and healthy food. So now coming back to your question, so. Almost 10 years ago, as I said, we started this line of research, and what we find is um, eating somewhere from eight to 10 hours and fasting for the rest of the day, mm -hmm. for the rest of the hours, every single day, but at least try for five to six days in a week, has huge health benefit. Uh, to begin with, um, some people experience weight loss, uh, but I must be frank that some people do not experience health, uh, significant weight loss. They're, lose a little bit of weight. But what is more exciting is all these diseases that I mentioned, people who have pre-diabetes or diabetes or blood cholesterol, high cholesterol, liver disease, et cetera, they do see some benefit. And some of the benefits can be as much as taking a medication for that condition. And as you mentioned, it also improves sleep. Mm -hmm. When people sleep well, then the next day morning, they feel more energetic. They have all the energy to carry out a very happy, productive day. So in this experiment that just came out, we wanted to test side by side whether male and female laboratory mice can do this time-restricted eating and what are the benefits. And um, the result is, uh, yes, it works in both male and female, young and old, um, and the benefits are almost similar for both male and female. The only small difference is the females did not lose as much weight as the males did, uh, but the experiment was only for three, three months. So maybe if we had done the experiment for a longer time, the females would have also lost weight. But the bottom line, the, the take home message is, you may not see significant weight loss, but your health can improve tremendously. Amazing. Now, quickly, because we've got to wrap, who should try, who should try time-restricted eating? Should you talk to your doctor first? Yeah, people should talk to their doctor, but at the same time, we do have a human study going on at UCSD called TIMET, TIMET study. People who have these conditions, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, um, excessive body fat, et cetera, they can look up TIMET study 
and can enroll. We also have another way that is we do have an app called My Circadian Clock. Mm -hmm. It's free for everybody. They can go to the website, sign up, and can uh, self-guided. It's a self-guided way yeah. to do time restricting. But one should definitely talk to his or her doctor because some people may uh, experience a little bit um, dizziness yes, from hypoglycemia, yes. particularly those who have diabetes. Yeah, that's what happened with me. Professor Sachin, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, a lot of information there. Uh, didn't know it started in your lab, so thank you very much right here in San Diego. <laughs> thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too.